In this video, we're going to learn what motion graphs look like for an object moving at constant speed. So on the right here, we have a car that's moving at constant speed. Constant speed means that it's going the same amount of distance every second. And if it's going at constant velocity, not only is it going at the same distance every second, it's also going in the same direction the whole time, meaning it's going in a straight line. So let's start with a toy car moving towards the right, moving in the positive direction. Let me go ahead and put a positive right there. And it is moving at constant velocity, same speed, same direction. So what would this graph look like? So on the top left here, this graph, we have a position versus time. Um, the vertical is the position, uh, that's referring to the location of the car, and then on the x-axis is the time. And this graph, if you can imagine, like one second later, it's going to be at a certain uh, position. Uh, two seconds later, it's going to be at another position in front, but because it's at constant speed, it's going to travel the same distance in that second. And then the third, third second, it's going to travel the same distance. Four seconds, it's going to travel the same distance. Um, and so we would expect to get a graph that looks like that. So a straight line with a positive slope. And uh, if we were to think about the velocity, because the velocity is not changing, it's going to be constant. Now, there's a couple options here in terms of velocity. It could be a positive velocity, it could be zero velocity, which means it's not moving, or it could be a negative velocity. In this case, it's moving in the positive direction, so it's going to have a positive velocity. Okay, so that's the positive, that's zero, that's negative, so it's going to have a positive velocity, and it's flat because it's going at constant speed. Now, uh, next, what if the car were moving in the negative direction? What if instead of going in the positive direction, the car now is going in the negative, so moving towards the left, okay, so moving towards the left. Then that, that it might start somewhere in front of the origin, okay, so it's starting from, so if this is the origin right there, uh, now it's moving towards the origin, starting in front of it, and then uh, a second later, okay, it's closer to the uh, origin, and then two seconds it's closer, so it's getting closer and closer to the origin, and we would expect a straight line like that. And eventually, if in, given enough time, it would return back to the origin. Since this is also a constant velocity um, situation, um, it's going to be a flat line on the velocity graph. The question is, is it going to be a positive velocity, no velocity, or negative velocity? The answer is it's going to be a negative velocity because now it's traveling in the negative direction. And it's still going to be flat because it is uh, moving at constant velocity. The velocity isn't changing. Lastly, what if the car is uh, not moving? Let's say uh, it's uh, at, in the middle of the road and it's not moving. So it's not the origin, somewhere in front of the origin. Uh, this is what that would look like. It would just look like this. Okay, This is... This is a motion graph that's showing an object that's not moving. And if it's not moving, what would the velocity be? The velocity would be zero because the object is not moving. When we look at these graphs, it can be very helpful uh, to think about how the position graph, which is the graph on the top, the graphs on the top, relate to the graphs on the bottom. And uh, specifically, we want to look at the slope. So the slope of the position graph tells us about the velocity. So this has a slope that is positive, so the velocity is going to be positive. Uh, the second uh, graph has a slope that is negative, and so down here on the bottom, we have a velocity that is negative. Um, and then lastly, we have a car, uh, the car is not moving, so we have a slope of zero, so it has a velocity of zero. Next, we'll look at motion maps. Motion maps are another way to represent motion. And in motion maps, we are using uh, dots to represent the location of the object and also arrows to represent the direction of the object. So we're going to go ahead and start with our position arrow. And if it's moving in the positive direction, uh, then we're going to have uh, arrows moving in the positive direction. Uh, direction. So here are the dots representing the object, and then we're going to have arrows starting from the dots. Okay, so the arrows are starting from the dots, and notice that the dots are equally spaced. This tells us that this object is moving at constant velocity.
constant velocity. If you did not include the arrows, you would not be sure if the object moving to the left or moving to the right. The arrow tells us which direction it's moving. If the object is moving in the negative direction, so constant negative velocity, once again, if it's constant velocity, the uh, dots will be equally spaced, but you're not quite sure which way it's moving. So you need to have the arrows that indicates the direction. So in the second example, it's moving towards the left. And in the uh, third example, if it's not moving, let's say it's in the middle of the road. Once again, it's not at the origin. It could be at the origin, but let's say it's not. It's just in the middle of the road. What would that look like? Um, you would have a dot. You could just kind of go dot, 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 uh, kind of going upwards. In physics, you should be able to represent motion using both motion maps and motion graphs. Now let's take a look at some practice problems. Now let's take a look at some uh, practice problems. Uh, so the first one is going to be an object um, that's moving at a constant negative velocity. So this could be like a ball that's moving towards the left and we're going to make, for all these problems, we're going to make the right positive. So it's moving to the left. What would the motion graphs look like? What would the motion map look like? So let's go ahead and do this one first here. So here is my position graph. And on this graph, since it's a negative, it's, it's constant. It's going to be a straight line, but it's negative. Um, so it's going to be moving towards the origin. The velocity What would that look like? Feel free to pause and give it a try. If we take a look at the position graph, this is a negative slope. So we know that on the velocity graph, it's going to be a negative velocity. Also a flat line because the velocity isn't changing. Lastly, let's take a look at the motion map. What would the motion map look like on this one? It's going in the negative direction because it's got negative velocity and it's constant. So I know that the dots are going to be equally spaced. And the arrows are going to be towards the left. All right, now let's see if you could do this for um, a couple other scenarios. Let's say that it's not moving. And in physics, when something is not moving, we'll say that it is at rest. Also, um, can you do this for a constant positive velocity? All right, so uh, we're going to draw the position for both of these, as well as the velocity graphs for both of these. And also we want to do the motion maps for both of these. I suggest that you go ahead and pause and give these a try. Okay, I hope you had a chance to give these a try. Now, if it's not moving, it's just going to be a flat line. It is not moving. And on the velocity graph, it is here because it is not moving. The velocity is zero. Positive, zero, negative, so it's zero. And if it is not moving, the object, let's say it's not at the origin, front of the origin, it's just going to be dot, dot, dot. It's not moving. It's staying at the same location. No arrows because it's not moving. It's moving at constant velocity. Uh, let's say we start from origin. It doesn't have to, but let's say it starts from origin. And uh, constant velocity is going to be a straight line. Uh, but it's going to be a positive slope moving away from the origin. So the velocity is going to be positive. It's positive, zero, negative. Okay, and if it's moving in the positive direction and it's constant, uh, constant means that the dots will be equally spaced and the arrows will tell us the direction it's moving. It's got a positive velocity, so it's, I know it's moving the positive direction.